Two minute math. Math in about two minutes. If it doesn't work, double your money back. Well, two times nothing is still nothing. This quick video is going to show you how to measure using a protractor. We've learned in the past that acute angles are less than 90 degrees, obtuse angles are more than 90 degrees, and a right angle exact is exactly 90 degrees. You need to know those before you continue on this because there's two sets of numbers and when you're measuring you need to know that one set of numbers can be eliminated for each angle that you measure. So let's think about it. When we measure an acute angle, we're going to be measuring angles less than 90 degrees so we can get rid of all the numbers that are more than 90 and I've just blacked out the numbers that are more than 90 on that so we're going to be using all the numbers that are less than 90. I'm lining up my protractor placing the triangle in the vertex. The vertex is where the two rays meet right at the uh, base of the angle. I need to make sure that the bottom line is lined up on the zero degree mark and then I'm going to read the line that comes up from that angle and where it crosses on the protractor. You can see here it's crossing right over the 30 degree mark and I've eliminated the larger numbers because this is an acute angle, one that's less than 90 degrees, so I can eliminate all those other numbers. You can see what happens how my angle looks like it gets bigger if I don't put that bottom line right on the protractor. So keep that bottom line right on the protractor, right at the zero mark, and you'll get the correct angle. I'm ready now to go ahead and measure some obtuse angles. Obtuse angles mean that we're not going to use any of the numbers less than 90 degrees. So I've blacked out all the numbers that are less than 90. I'm now getting ready to measure the Auburn Hills obtuse angle with my protractor that has all the numbers less than 90 blackened out. So as I place the protractor onto the angle, I make sure that the triangle is placed into the vertex of the angle and I'm lining that bottom line right up along the zero degree mark. Obtuse angles can be a little bit more difficult because they're greater than 90 degrees and you have to make sure to use the numbers over 90. As I zoom in to see the angle here you can see it's between 130 and 140. It happens to be a little bit closer to the 130. This one measures about 133 or 134 degrees. If you can rotate, you can see that it's 133 or 134 would be correct for this angle.